Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So now it's finally the time, ladies and gentlemen, for us to start covering mods for Supermarket Simulator 1.0. So as you guys may have suspected, I got extremely bored playing the vanilla. I was gonna do like this whole 100 day thing. I made it to like 76 days and I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> so this game i'm sorry like past day 50 this game is just not fun with my without mods i'm sorry it's it's just it gets so tedious and ridiculous that i just can't do it so uh it's mod time i i, I give up <laughs> so we're gonna do the mods but before we get into that i'm gonna show you guys uh the three primary mods that i think that you need to start with before you do anything else and uh this may be conditional some people may not need all three of these mods but i personally believe that all three of these mods are necessary if you're going to start installing mods anyway because at some point they're going to become of use to you well one of them is absolutely mandatory but the other two i think are just pretty useful in general so first and foremost obviously what you're looking at on the screen is toby bafinex melon loader you basically cannot install mods without this you need it uh, and if you're if you already been modding you already have it so if you've been modding already you already have this you already know what this is you can skip this section of the video and go ahead and head to the next one but for everybody who doesn't this is what you need to install mods so once you get here to this page uh, and if you want to know how to find this very easily um, once you officially are on the supermarket simulator mods page uh, you can go to popular and it'll always be the first one here so you click that once you bring that up of course you're logged into your account already on on uh, nexus mods and all that stuff you're already set to go you click manual and then you want to go to slow download unless you have a premium account and then you would do premium but slow download is what the standard is so once you click slow download it'll have you downloaded uh my suggestion is to make a dedicated folder specifically for your mods separate from your game directory so and we'll, we'll get to that in a moment but uh, once you've downloaded this mod into your designated mod folder uh, and it is downloaded you're gonna have to unzip it uh, it doesn't matter what unzipping program you use as long as you have one and it is capable of unzipping zipped folders then you are good to go now let's head over to my screen here so you guys can see um this is my dedicated folder for supermarket simulator mods i have it listed here soup sim mods 1.0 and as you can see i have downloaded the toby bepinex pack supermarket simulator the zip folder here you want to double click that it's gonna bring up whatever unzipping program you use. You're gonna extract it directly into the same folder that it's already in. And once it's done extracting, you will be left with a folder that says Toby Bepinex pack for supermarket simulator, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you have your folder, you're good to go. Next, once you've done all that, you're gonna want to bring up the directory for your game. So let's go ahead and go over to Steam. We're gonna right click Steam. We're gonna go to manage, browse local files. Once you click that, that will bring up your directory and it'll take you to this folder. And this folder here is where your game saves and all that other, well, not where your game saves, but this is these are the game files or supermarket simulator. So uh, open up your Toby Bepinex folder here and you'll see these folders here. Bepinex, Melon Loader, Plugins, Doorstep version, all this. Uh, you only have to pay too much attention to that. Uh, you're gonna wanna take all this, drag it over into this folder. Uh, and once you do that, they're gonna ask you like, do you wanna replace some files? Make sure you say yes and all that stuff. And now you have officially installed Bepinex Melon Loader uh, so you can start downloading mods. So you're done with that. Once you've done that and your folder looks like this over on the supermarket simulator side, this is your game directory. Um, you wanna have all this stuff here and you're good. Now, when you click your Bepinex folder or your Melon Loader folder, which are the two files where you will be placing all of your mods, it's either going to be this one or this one, depending on the mod that you download. But when you click on them, right after you've done the installation that I just showed you, they're gonna seem pretty empty. There's not gonna be a lot of folders in here. You're not gonna see a lot of this stuff that you're seeing when I click on it. A lot of this stuff will not be visible to you. And that is because you have not booted up the game. So the very next step, after you've dragged all of the files from the Toby Bepinex pack 
or supermarket simulator folder over here. Once you've dragged those over here and that's done, the very next thing you wanna do is boot up the game. So boot up the game and then it'll populate all these missing folders that you won't see initially. And then as soon as you boot up the game and all these folders and stuff populate, just close the game back out and then we can continue on with the next step. The next step being uh, the next mod that we want to look at. So let's uh, close this so we can see what the next mod is. And that one is Better Save Systems Revived. Now, specifically, you wanna make sure that you download the revived one uh, that was updated by Temp Beto. Uh, shout out to Temp Beto. This man or person has been extremely busy uh, updating a lot of different mods. Temp Beto, you are awesome. Uh, we'll, we'll have a dedicated video for them specifically coming up soon here. Uh, but it has the seal of approval here tested for the release version. I love this. This is like my favorite thing. The fact that they created this to let you know that everything that they've uh, uploaded from point of release has been tested for the release version. Just seeing this seal right here has made downloading mods significantly smoother for me. So great ad. Tempe to like I said, I got a whole video glazing them coming up, uh, you know, when that comes up. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend too much time glazing them now. But either way, um, so this mod is a necessary mod, in my opinion, because this game for God knows why does not have the ability for you to save multiple save files. There is a way for you to do it. And I have a video explaining how that is done that I will leave in the description if you do not want to use this mod. But I highly recommend you use it because it is very useful. So what you download this the same way manual, go to download here and then slow download. Once you slow download it, it'll go into your dedicated mods folder. You unzip it just like you unzip the other one and then you will have the mod downloaded. So let's go back over here. Uh, the mod in question that we are looking for, you should see your folder here that says better save. Uh, oh, wait, actually, no. I haven't unzipped mine yet, so this actually works out. I'm gonna click it. It's gonna bring up the unzipper here. We're gonna extract it into the same folder. It is now extracted. Go ahead and next that out. And then here it is over here. Better save systems revived. This is the folder. Go ahead and click that up. Now, what you can do is you could just drag this over into the Bepinex folder. I don't really like to do it that way, even though you can just do it that way. And it'll it'll put everything where it should be if you drag it like that. I just don't like to do it that way. So what I do is I go to the directory here where your game say, uh, where your game data is. Open up Bepinex myself, go to plugins myself because this is where your mods go. And then go over here, Bepinex plugins. And then this is your mod, this .dll file. Take that .dll file, you drag it into plugins. And this is a Bepinex mod, you know, because there's a Bepinex folder here. So that tells you automatically where it goes. But like I said, if you wanna keep it simple, you don't wanna open these, you can just drag this over and it'll it'll go in there and it'll be fine. I just like to do it manually because I like to make sure that it went where I wanted it to go, okay? So this is the Better Save Systems Revived. It is over here in the, in the thing here where you want it to be in your Bepinex plugins folder and that mod is installed. So we're gonna go ahead and boot up the game and I'll show you guys what this mod looks like and why you want to have it because it is very, very nice and very useful to have. So let's uh, boot up Supermarket Simulator here. All right, so once you have the game booted up, you'll see that this main menu does not look how you're used to it looking. We have a couple new things here. So you have the ability now to create a save, continue, load a save, uh, and that is just, I think that's the way the game should be in the first place, but you know, we're not gonna go there. So you can create a brand new save with your own save game or whatever. Uh, you can continue from where you left off recently, or you can go through here and just load a very specific save from, you know, whenever. Uh, so this is why this mod is extremely useful. This is why I like it. And also after installing Bepinex and all that, once you install this mod, this will confirm that your Bepinex and stuff was installed correctly because now you see that this one's working. So we're not gonna continue from here. We're gonna go ahead and quit. And we're gonna close the game again. Um, and now we are back here in our folder here. We're gonna head back to the root of our directory for our supermarket simulator and that's done. 
So you have properly installed better save systems, uh, revived specifically. Uh, so now the next mod that I want to show you guys how to install is called Texture Replacer. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with this one. Let's go ahead and let you see that one. So this is Texture Replacer. And the reason that I think this is a mandatory mod to start off with is because at some point people want textures. Like if you're modding the game, you're going to want some different textures or, you know, whatever. And maybe it's the US textures. Maybe you want to change the look of the refrigerators or the floors or the ceilings or whatever. Uh, at some point, if you're modding this game, you're going to want to get into the cosmetics. So you want to make sure you have texture replacer downloaded. Same deal. Click manual. Once you get to the screen, go to slow download. It downloads. Make sure you get send it to your dedicated folder. Once it goes to your dedicated folder and it's downloaded, you want to unzip it as usual. And then uh, uh, once it's unzipped, you'll have your folder somewhere in here. So here it is texture replacer. So go ahead and double click that and open it. And you have your texture replacer folder here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into Bepinex because this is a Bepinex mod and in your plugins folder where your mods go, you're going to take texture replacer, this folder, and you're going to drag the folder into this file. Now, before, if you guys saw what I did before, I took the better saves uh, system revived and I transferred the DLL. I clicked the here and I took just the DLL and transferred it over. This time, you're not going to do that. You're going to take the actual texture replacer folder and you're going to transfer that over into the plugins. So now this is here, right? You got your texture replacer DLL here now just like the original mod that i told you guys and you're gonna have to get used to doing this for a lot of different mods in this game so burn this into your brain write it down take a note sticky note something on the computer uh, whatever you need to do but make sure that you remember this for a lot of mods in this game when you download the mod and you move it over into the mods folder usually it'll come accompanied by other folders those folders will not be visible to you unless you boot up the game so just make it a habit it doesn't matter what the mod is after you drag the folder over or the or the dll over it doesn't matter which one into your plugins or if it's a melon loader it'll go into your mods folder but in this case we're doing bepinex so it goes into the plugins once it's over here then you need to boot up the game right away okay so we're gonna do that we're gonna boot up the game and I'm not going to I'm not going to let you see the game boot up because I want you to see what happened when you boot up the game and why I keep telling you that this is so important. So we're going to boot up the game for market simulator. It's going to boot and you're going to see something happen when the game boots up. All right. Did you see that the game booted? and then folders populated here. These are the folders that you need in order to use texture replacer. But you notice when I dragged the folder over here initially, it was not, these folders were not here. But now that I've booted up the game, here's your meshes, textures, icons, and names folder. So now that I've done that, these folders are visible. I can go ahead and close the game back because I don't need it anymore. And we have the folders we need now or texture replacer. And now texture replacer has been installed. So you're good. So now from this point on, if you want to install any textures, they're gonna go in either one of these folders and we will cover that in its own designated texture replacer video. Stay tuned for that. We got a video specifically coming out for texture replacer so I can show you guys exactly how to install new textures. Um, don't worry about that if you don't understand it now. This is just getting these kind of preliminary files downloaded for you. So now you've installed three mods. You've installed uh, the Toby Bepinex and Melon Loader mod. You've installed the uh, Better Save Systems and you've installed Texture Replacer. Now you're ready to pretty much install whatever. Now there is another mod that you guys may have noticed that I didn't mention, and that is the More Products mod, the mod that allows you to download actual physical products more physical products into the game that are completely outside of the scope of what this game offers that is an entire can of worms on itself i cannot cover that in this video nor do i recommend you download that right away because that is a whole nother situation we'll get on that when the time comes stay tuned as i said if you want to learn about more products and how to actually put more things into your game like video games action figures stuff like that that's a whole nother thing we'll we'll cover that another time but for now these were the three mods that i wanted you to download to get you started on installing mods 
and then we'll go from there going forward so hopefully that was useful to you guys uh, i try to explain it and, and visualize it and show it in the best way that i can i'll be answering questions that you guys have down in the comment section below if you need any help it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not the best at explaining things, unfortunately. I kind of suck at it. But uh, hopefully, you know, this came across the way I wanted it to come across and it was helpful to you guys. Uh, we will be moving on to just like regular individual mod showcases going from this point forward. Uh, but like I said, if you have any questions, if you're confused, if things aren't quite working out uh, as it should be, then reach out to me and I will answer whatever questions I can. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next.